solutions are defined um, by their characteristic properties and one of the characteristic properties uh, of matter is density and you may remember that the density is the mass of an object divided by the volume of that same object well in this case if the object is a solution then the density of the solution is the mass of the solution divided by the volume of the solution pardon the typo here so the density of a solution is the mass of the solution divided by the volume of the solution and density um, is dependent of course on temperature so whenever we're given a density we're always given the density at a particular temperature now it's important to remember also that density the density of a solution is not the same thing absolutely not the same thing as the mass percent concentration of a solution that is a relationship between the solute and the solution whereas the density is just describing the solution the mass of the solution per the volume that the solution takes up let's take a look at this example calculate the mass of nickel 2 sulfate present in 200 milliliters of a 6% solution of nickel 2 sulfate the density of the solution is 1.06 grams per milliliter at 25 degrees Celsius okay so in this case we're given um, information about the concentration of the solution in units of a uh, mass percent and the question is we want to calculate the mass of that solute that would be present in 200 milliliters of that particular solution well if um, what we want is the mass of the solute in a particular volume um, given volume in units of milliliters which is 200 milliliters of the solution of some given density okay and so uh, they're give they have given us at, at also at a given concentration okay so the concentration is six percent the density is 1.06 grams of solution per milliliter of solution all right so how are we going to figure out the mass of solute present there well what we're going to do is we're going to start with what's given which is the um, the milliliters the volume and units of milliliters of the solution and we have to convert that to grams of solution and then from grams of solution we can convert to grams of solute and the conversion factors we'll use here between the milliliters of solution and grams of solution is the density of the solution and then to get from grams of solution to grams of solute we'll use the concentration of that solution in units of mass percent that's what's given to us okay so to work this we start with what's given um, 200 milliliters of solution and the density to get from the uh, volume of solution to the mass of the solution the density is 1.06 grams of solution per one milliliter of solution so the milliliter unit cancels we're left in units of grams of solution now we can use the mass percent concentration to convert to grams of solute and so we know that it's six percent that means that there is six grams of the solute in this case it's nickel 2 sulfate per every 100 grams of solution so our gram solution unit will cancel and uh, we can do the math it's just gonna be 200 times 1.06 times 6 divided by 100 and that equals let's see 12.7 grams of the nickel sulfate in that particular volume of solution at that particular density of solution